Hello, in this video I'll be sharing with you the complete process on how I wash my poultry sheds or houses. So first I like to wash everything up with the walls first. But in order to use water under high pressure to wash your poultry bin like I'm doing in this video, there are a few things that are very important that must be taken care of. First, you must make sure that all your electric cables are waterproof. Secondly, you need a very efficient drainage system to ensure that all the water and every other thing that you wash within the poultry sheds or bands is properly drained out and managed properly. Once I'm done washing up and the walls, I bring down my feed and water lines to a height where I can manage properly so that I can wash them thoroughly to ensure that no feed leftovers or dead or anything that could cause a problem in the next batch of chickens is left within the water or the feed lines. Once I'm done washing the lines, I turn on the lights so that I can inspect them properly while I shake off the water from the water lines and empty the water in the plates. During this process, I'm able to inspect whether the plates are clean and if the water lines have been properly washed as well. It is only after this that I can put up the feed and the water lines 
and then complete the final part of the washing. Now that they are very clean, it's time to add some liquid soap to the water and use this liquid soap and water to scrub the walls and the floor effectively. The reason why I add liquid soap to the water is because it's able to penetrate and make loose all the stains and every other thing that could be sticking on the walls or on the floor. So I'm able to clean effectively. So once I'm done scrubbing the walls, I rinse them properly and I begin to scrub the floor, directing the water towards my drainage system. So by the time I'm done with any one of my sheds washing, this is what it looks like. And it's going to be like this for at least two days for the water to completely dry off. And then it will be disinfected and closed for a two weeks rest period. It's only after then that I can start preparing the farm again for the next placement of chicks in the farm.